few additional votes on board. I don't think it's impossible that this could go somewhere this year. Uh, it, this, and I, I wonder if the politics of gun control have shifted at least a bit. We know the NRA and gun rights advocates have had the upper hand for a long time. I just sense maybe some of the ground shifting on this issue. Well, let me bring in Shannon Watts. She is the founder of Moms Demand Action for Gun Sense in America. It's good to see you. Good morning. Good morning. I want to ask you about where we stand in this battle over, over uh, gun laws, but let me first get your reaction to the Ryson letter sent to Mayor Michael Bloomberg. You know, the, that just shows that there is a lot of fear around this issue. The gun lobby in this country has done a great job of making people afraid that their guns will be taken away or that the Second Amendment will be affected. And the reality is that is not what anyone wants. What we want are common sense gun laws put in place now and threats and intimidation and bullying will not stop that from happening. Have you been worried? Have you ever received any threats as a result of your activism? You know, I get interesting emails and calls and go to rallies where men show up with loaded assault weapons to protest our rallies. But again, you know, this is about change and change is never easy. And so um, I'm not going to be intimidated or bullied by anyone. I'm going to protect my kids. And that includes being an activist for common sense gun laws. So what's the strategy now? How do you get your voice heard? I mean, we had talked for a long time about how 90% of the American people were in favor of background checks, for example, and we heard the president talking about it last night. Now you have this new poll that shows even the majority of people in three southern conservative states support background checks, and yet it couldn't get through. Where do you go from here? Well, you know, we were all disappointed with the, obviously, the vote by the Senate in April. But Congress locked the door, so moms are going to go in through the window. And what we're going to do is continue to pressure Congress, but we're also going to look at state legislatures across the country. There are many that are making great strides towards common sense gun laws. And we're also going to pressure American businesses to say it's not okay to allow guns in your stores, it's not okay to sell weapons marketed to children, and it's not okay to sell assault weapons. Uh, you know, for example, I don't think a lot of moms realize that if you go to Starbucks, you could be standing next to someone with a loaded weapon. And so what we're saying is, please, Starbucks, be more like Pete's Tea and Coffee, and don't allow weapons in your stores, even though it's allowed by the states where you operate. Do you have an ongoing dialogue with some of these stores? Have you made any progress? You know, we have just launched our campaign, and we've sent thousands and thousands of emails and tweets to these companies. And the next step is to reach out to these companies and start meeting with them as moms and to say, please, understand that we we make 80% of the spending decisions in this country, moms do. And we're asking you to make sure that when we spend our dollars at your business, that we're safe. And let me ask you about uh, what you said about the states. Uh, just last night, California advanced a dozen gun control measures, including background checks. But considering uh, it, it is obviously so hard to get something done on the federal level, are you feeling more positive about the possibility of going after this on a state-by-state -state basis? Yeah, I, I believe the state laws will change the way Congress thinks about making laws and vice versa. And we're seeing some very brave um, Democrats and Republicans alike voting for common sense gun laws, whether it's, uh, you know, in the state of Colorado or, or Maryland. I mean, these governors are doing the right thing and they are protecting their citizens and they're saying, we understand that we need to do what the American public wants. 90% of Americans want background checks. Why Congress isn't seeing that? Well, I'm assuming it's because the gun lobby uh, is making more noise there than we are. But in the states, we're making a lot of noise. And we're also going to focus on Congress and American businesses going forward. Shannon Watts, thank you so much for coming on. Appreciate it. Thank you. Well, let me bring back Ann and Susan.